So, how are we all feeling today? Drop me anything in the chat, on mute. Doing well, very well, thank you. I'm looking forward to listening to the presentation. Thank you. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about the meta bounty huntresses and um, how we are going to be minting them first of all, and also how they work and how the season one worked as well. So just a quick disclaimer about uh, season one and season two. Uh, you should never take this as a security offering. Um, bounty hunters, they're not liable for anything you may lose. Uh, Web3, you're very much in control of your own assets, your own wallets, everything. It's all down to you. You've got to make sure you're protected in every way you can be. Um, the reflections are actually a contribution from the founders. They don't have to do it. There's no law stating it. Uh, so it's all down to them wanting to give back to their users. They do it by something called a DeFi protocol with a use something called Kali Finance. But that's as much as we can say because uh, the founders specified they can't share any more for... Uh, security reasons. Just give me one second. All right, yeah. So season one, just some quick facts. Uh, it's going to be the highest percent contribution of 85% of the mint revenue. I'll get on to more about that in a minute. It's going to be what they said, the only NFT that will pay weekly coming from them, only one with a weekly payment utility. Uh, it was their first collection ever and season one of their first collection. And it was very successful. It sold out within days. It was highly anticipated for months. I remember hearing about it quite a bit. And it's just amazing in all ways. Because not only do you get great art, you also get rewards for holding it. Direct rewards for holding it for yourself. No matter how many you hold, you'll get rewards for that. And it's a set amount. Also, as well as getting direct reflections, you get affiliate reflections, which is where if you introduce someone who brings in um, sorry, who buys an NFT as part of the Bounty Hunters, you will earn for having them under you because you've helped someone join the Bounty Hunter Galaxy, the Bounty Hunter family. As well as these, you also get rarity reflections if your NFT seems to have rare traits. And also in the reflections, they take a small portion and give it to charitable causes every, I believe it was every quarter they do it. They also do giveaways in the servers, like trivias, duck races, as you may have seen. So really good things happening here. This is just a quick image showing you all about them, but I'm sure we know what they look like because I know you both hold one. But yeah, this is how great they look. Very successful, amazing images. Great artist who actually designed the DC comics. Amazing guy. And uh, yeah, amazing founders. So, oops, wait, is that? Yeah. So here is the white paper for the hunters, and it's very similar to the huntresses. That's why I'm showing you. So 8,888 hunters um, sold for 2,000 USD each. 85% uh, of that went into the reflection pool to generate reflections every week for holders and affiliates. 15% went to the founders, which is fair enough. You know, you get compensated for it. And they're being very generous, giving us 85%, I think. So out of the yield, 100% of that yield is paid out, which I'll show you on the next slide. But in total, in total, there was just over 17 and a half million US dollars in that pool ready to um, send out to the reflection pool and the founders. So $15.1 million are in that reflection pool getting yielded every week, paying out holders. In that reflection pool, Let's say we generate one Ethereum that week. Obviously, it's a lot higher than that, but just saying hypothetically. 65% uh, of that, so 0.65, will go towards direct reflections, and in that is rarity as well. So you'll get paid for just holding it, and you get paid the same as anyone else. But if yours is rare, you'll get slightly more because there's rarity pools of top 100 and top 1,000, I believe. 35% of that, so 0.35, for example, goes to the affiliate reflections, which you can earn on level 1 through to 7. This is the same on the Huntresses as well. And also in that, there is where the charitable causes go as well. Yeah, so here's just some quick facts. Since reflections have started, we have paid out over 0.65 ETH in direct reflections per NFT. So you've actually made back the ETH you put in. I believe the USD return was about 72% last time I looked. So still holding really strong considering we've only had 24, 25 weeks of reflections. Uh, 
And in that, over 14.3 million US dollars in total reflections through direct and affiliate. So r really good project, going strong still. And it's just amazing all around, I think. Now we're going to get to season two, which is the Huntresses. And it is the next most anticipated one yet. This is just some previews of them. Uh, all I can say is I'm pretty excited for it. I can't wait. Here we go again with the white paper. So it's going to be 8,888 again, costing 2,500 US dollars. Uh, we'll go into minting after this though. However, for this reflection pool, 80% goes to the reflection pool and 20% goes to founders because they have mentioned the hunters will have the highest percentage contribution for any project they do. Uh, so that gives us $22.2 million in mint revenue and 17.8 million of that will go into the reflection pool. If you're BDI'd, you would have noticed that only 15 million went into the hunter's pool, whereas 17.8 million went into the hunter's pool. That's why I'm anticipating this one will be better because there's more money in the reflection pool. Yeah, again, 100% of the yield is given out in direct and affiliate reflections in the same split up of 65 and 35%. Many people ask this question, if ETH dips, will my reflections also dip? Yes and no. No, because uh, this actually beats inflation. Because everything's done in US dollars, they actually buy the Ethereum each month or week to pay you out in. So if you withdraw it straight away and convert it straight into a stable coin or a fiat currency, then no, your reflections won't change. If you leave it in Ethereum and let it decline, then yes, your reflections will decline. But that is just the volatility of a cryptocurrency. Yeah, and the main part of Huntresses is that is monthly. So... Personally, I'm thinking it will pay a lot more, but we're going to have to wait and see for that. Here are the three phases of minting. Phase one, which is what I'm going to help you guys mint for, is for Elite Squadron and Top Secret Agent. And that is on October 15th. And I will, when we get close to that time, I'll specify exactly what we need to do. But you'll get 15% off at 2,125 US dollars. However, you'll still get 80% of 2,500 going into that reflection pool. You will not get paid less. You'll get paid the same. Phase two, which is where MLA and MBH holders uh, get their minting. It's the same day, just a little bit later. Personally, I don't think it'll even hit that phase. I think with this pre-whitelist, it's going to get smashed. If it does hit the MLA and MBH phase, it's definitely not hitting the public mint at all. That's how anticipated this is. You might as well buy an extra couple and sell them on later because they will definitely go up in price um yeah so that was just a quick overview thank you for watching and if you need any more contact details they are here on the screen that is my email and my discord tag if you need to let me know something if you want help getting one because you're not in the whitelist let me know and i can help you out with that and thank you for watching if i'm minting for you please stay on for an extra three minutes and did anyone have any questions at all? You can feel free to unmute or put it in the chat. Aaron, I have a question. Can I just ask you, so um, in terms of the Ethereum, so do I need to keep that into the MetaMask wallet so that it's ready when the um, actual release of season two happens? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you should, firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it in something called USDT, which is a stable coin. So the price of one USDT, one USDT would always equal $1. So I'm going to keep um, the amount I'm going to mint with in USDT so it stays at that price. If I leave it in Ethereum, it could go up or down. And the founders haven't specified the Ethereum mint price yet. So with the volatility of Ethereum, I'm definitely going to keep it in a stable coin for now. And when that price is released, I will convert it and then mint away. Does that make perfect sense? Yeah, it does. So just to so just to be clear, so like for instance, I've got crypto accounts, I've got Ethereum. So should I be like, um, um, is it just wise just to like place? Um, is it case like if they took about Ethereum of two thousand five hundred for me to have? Um, how much USDT do I need to? Was it was that just based on the the rate on the day when I decide to convert it? Is that correct? Is that so what you, I need to do? So because USDT is equal to US dollars, but it's just a cryptocurrency, you should keep the two thousand five hundred in USDT. So it will be two thousand five hundred USDT. 
which right, when they okay. you can convert back into Ethereum for quite a small fee, actually. Uh, I think something like 1% sure. is very small. And yeah, okay. in the way on the day. All right, that's brilliant. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, John. That's okay. I actually believe I'm minting for both of you. So just to let you know, uh, if you are sending me a secret agent, what I'm going to do, I've put the wallet out. Just let me know when you've done it and let me know your wallet address and I'll confirm that I've received it. I will sign up to that whitelist when the information comes out. And once that's happened, make sure you have either USDT or Ethereum. It's up to you what you want to keep it in, but I would suggest USDT. And when the minting day comes, I will ping you guys a day before and I'll let you know to send me over the USDT or Ethereum, whichever one you want. Um, and then on the day, I'll make sure I get in there at the right time and I'll mint however many you've specified in the chat. And obviously regarding you've given the correct amount, obviously I'll mint that amount. Uh, one thing I do ask is if you could send an extra 20 to $50 just to help cover gas, because on the day I know for ML agents that gas was about 120 US dollars to mint at the start uh, because that was that many people doing it. And I know for a fact, this one is definitely, definitely going to have the same amount. So feel free to, don't feel forced, but it'd be a great contribution. And uh, thank you. Estrange, did you have any questions at all? Um, no, I'm all good. I think I'm going to send you an agent. Yeah, a secret um, agent, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm going to send it after the reflections on the 5th. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just make sure you ping me a message and yeah, that sounds... Sure, sure. Okay, everyone, if there's no more questions, I just want to make sure you have a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're dialing in from. And uh, I'll get talking again. I'll probably run another one of these again, probably next week, if you want to invite anyone, get your affiliate uh, squadron started. So if you would like that, just let me know. Let me know some times and I can definitely get going again. But yeah, sure. have a good day, everyone. Sure, thank you. Thanks, see you. Aaron, thank you so much. Thank you, Aaron. That's right. You're welcome. See you. Okay, see you then. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.